Hi there everyone, I hope you're all well. I'm out on a walk and I was thinking about the enormous stillness that's out here on the countryside and the contrast to that, the enormous chaos that the world are going through right now. How are you balancing those two energies in your life? Are you able to do that? Are you able to sit still, to meditate, to listen within, to connect to your deep soul energy? Are you able to listen? When we are in a state of um, chaos consciousness for too long, we need to take a break and reconnect to our inner balance and the rhythm and the, the pulse that wants to push us forward when it comes to our personal development, like the transformation, for example, from 3D to 5D, or something very personal in your life, or something that requires us to listen. Because there's never, there's never a chaos outside in our outer world without it reflecting something within the humanity. So, what, what is it inside of you that you have been um, a cup for? What kind of energy have you restored? Or I mean, have you stored <laughs> in your in your body, in your cells, in your memory, um, from previous or parallel lifetimes? What have you? What have you in your energy that have been um, made you? Not necessarily in a chaos inside, but in a lower frequency at least. It's so, it's so much time now to reflect on this and, and to really let the old go so you can transform with the time that we are in. It all happens for a reason. And we are all in this together, globally. So, I just wanted to push you a bit, maybe, to do this inner reflecting and take the time to listen. What do you need to let go of that still remains in you? that have lower frequencies or vibrations that are not supposed to be in the new world anymore. If we all do this together, it will raise the vibration of the planet so, so much. So don't get caught in all the drama in the world too much, although our voices need to be heard. But don't get caught. Always remember to turn inwards and anchor yourself. Anchor into your soul power, into your soul energy. And listen to what is it that the outer world is reflecting within me? What is it that I need to let go of? Something in my consciousness, something in my mind, something in my heart, something in, in my 
root chakra from the past or what is it? You know, we we tend to bring so much experience with us when we live in a 3D reality. It remains in our cell memories and we still keep acting like this is still true. But if we are talking about dimensions and a 5D dimension, there's only the power of now. We will no longer, in that consciousness of 5D, we will no longer be restricted by by the past or um, by lower frequencies, whatever that is, wherever that's coming from. So it's so, so important now to see through things. It's like in the needle, in the eye of the needle. You have to go and walk through the eye of the needle and only bring the lightest part of you. <clears throat> and when the when the sound when the sound of your inner voice get quiet <laughs> then you know you're 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 on the right path and you can just uh, uh, embrace embrace the now fully but if you turn inwards and your 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 inner self and your soul and your your higher self when it speaks a lot, <laughs> you better listen because there might be a lot of things that have been trying to get you to listen for a very long time. And do you know, that's why so many people say to me when they are trying to learn how to meditate, and they say, oh, well, I can't, I can't meditate because my mind, my mind or my thoughts don't stop. <laughs> um, and I understand this, you know, it's completely normal to feel like this sometimes, even if you haven't been meditating for a long time. But it can also be <laughs> that you have never really tried long enough you know that you haven't really got going with the practice of meditation because if you don't your mind combine with your higher self and your inner emotions and everything that are stored in you and have been stored in you for so long time of course it chatters, of course it uh, talks a lot when you sit still and try to listen. Of course it does. So, uh, and you don't give up because of that. Instead you can bring in the, the awareness of, okay, so this is how my inner state is at this moment. Okay, I really need to give this time because I have a lot to say. I have a lot of thoughts that I need to sort out or I have a lot of emotions that I, that I need to meet. 
accept and be aware what they want to say. So uh, don't give up when you when you sit and try to meditate and be still and embrace the power of the now because this is where the magic happens. This is where you find your inner strength. When things get clearer and start to be calm inside of you, that's when you much clearer can hear the, the higher self and the soul and you feel what's important to you, what kind of choices you need to do in your life. But you need to be in contact with all of you, all part of you. And that happens with, with aware, awareness. So hang in there when you are starting to meditate or if you